We learned that state lawmakers believe the agency in charge of distributing the TANF funds not doing a good enough job to get those dollars to the folks who are most in need. Of course, today's hearing coming after that massive multi-million dollar welfare fraud scheme that's focused attention on former Governor Phil Bryant and NFL Hall of Famer Brett Favre. We're still going to be required to provide services at the same level. Democratic lawmakers holding the first ever hearing on the state's massive welfare fraud scheme more than two years after the massive $77 million TANF fraud scandal that's focused attention lately on former Governor Phil Bryant and NFL Hall of Famer Brett Favre. And all of us here today are committed to getting to the bottom of that and holding people accountable for all the misuse of funds. A former quarterback received in a lump sum over 300 times what I ever received in TANF. Former TANF recipient Brandy Nichols told lawmakers the system needs to be reformed to better help families who need assistance the most. My hope is that the tragedy of the scandal behind this program leads to changes to how much money families receive to help with everyday expenses. Lawmakers want to know how millions of welfare dollars are being spent and who's watching where their money is going. We're monitoring nonprofits who um, do business with us in the TANF program. State Department of Human Services Executive Director Bob Anderson said since he took over more than two years ago, he's hired the agency's first ever compliance officer. Put in place internal controls to make sure the same thing didn't happen in the future. Lawmakers believe the agency is not doing enough to help those who need assistance the most. 90% of all TANF applicants or denied assistance. Right now, there are 2,100 recipients across the state. The average family of three receives $270 a month. But our job as legislators is to make sure this program works. We have a responsibility to do that. Those punitive measures that are in place to, to keep people from receiving those funds or making it hard for them to apply for it, legislature did that. Now, those lawmakers say they would like to eliminate the drug test and job search requirement in order for TANF recipients to continue getting the funds. But, of course, if Republicans don't agree to it, those changes are not likely to happen. They, we are expecting lawmakers to have more hearings on the subject before the start of next year's legislative session. Tonight, we're live at the state capitol, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.